broadcast on the home for Edmondson County Sports, Wildcats Live. That's presented by Alford's Pharmacy. It's time for the Bank of Edmondson County countdown to tip off. And tonight, it's the Wildcats versus the Cougars. District 12 matchup. These games are always uh, with a, pr a crowded house present and uh, lots of tension, lots of, uh, lots of close, lots of big game atmosphere. Uh, but here we are. Derek Grayson County's bunch is coached by Travis Johnson. They are 2-1 and one on the season. They've beaten Breckenridge County at home, lost to Bullet Central on the road, and beat Ohio County on the road. Cats are coached by head coach Trey Tinsley. They're, uh, he's in his first season as head coach for the Wildcats. Two and two on the year. They have beaten Allen County Scottsville in the first round of Kentucky 2A. Beaten Fort Knox, lost to Cumberland County here at Wildcat Hall last Saturday. And lost on the road to Franklin Simpson in that second round of the 2A. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll go over Edmondson Center's injury report and discuss the keys to victory for the Cats tonight. This is Wildcats Live, presented by Alford's Pharmacy only on the Edmondson Voice. Nearly 100 years, Bank of Edmondson County has been a place to find friends helping friends. It's still locally owned and operated with a complete line of deposit and loan products and with mobile banking with deposit capture, helping our friends has never been easier. Bank of Edmondson County, you're our first priority. A-Plus Family Health Care provides personalized primary, behavioral, and pediatric care, all right here in Edmondson County. From newborns to golden years, our team provides comprehensive care tailored for your individual needs. Visit us in Brownsville in the Main Street Center and call 270-975-4050 for an appointment today and visit aplushealth.org. A-Plus Family Health Care, care is what we Alford's Pharmacy brings you the latest technology with decades of experience right here in Edmondson County. Locally owned and operated, Alford's provides fast, friendly service with the care that you deserve. Whether you need personalized help, a vaccine, or just a simple refill, call 270-597-1044 or visit alfordsrx.com for more. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alford's Pharmacy. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on MSVoice.com. This is the Bank of Edmondson County coming down to tip off. And that's uh, presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and Drive Through. Tonight's injury report is sponsored by Edmondson Center Healthcare. With that injury report, welcome back, Double D. Thank you, Jamie. I've got good news. Nobody on the injury list for the Edmondson County Wildcats. Everybody on this roster suited up and ready to play against the first district game of the season here at ECHS against those pesky Grayson County Cougars. Lady Cats took care of business in the first game tonight, and uh, that was a barn burner for just a little while there, but uh, Lady Cats eked out the win. Tonight's first half is brought to you by A-Plus Family Healthcare in Brownsville. We'll take another quick break when we come back and look at starting lineups and what's needed for the win tonight. For the Cats, you're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmontsonVoice.com. For nearly 100 years, Bank of Edmondson County has been a place to find friends helping friends. It's still locally owned and operated with a complete line of deposit and loan products and with mobile banking with deposit capture, helping our friends has never been easier. Bank of Edmondson County, you're our first priority. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. A-Plus Family Healthcare is now in Edmondson County Schools, bringing hometown healthcare to our students with A-Plus Kid Care. Keeping our kids healthy gives them the best opportunity to learn and grow while staying at school. We utilize telehealth technology that allows parents to join their child's visit remotely. A-Plus Kid Care is hassle-free, allowing care for your child without having to leave work or schedule appointments. A-Plus Family Healthcare, care is what we we're glad to have everyone along here on the Wildcats Live tonight. This is the Bank of Edmondson County countdown to tip off. And it's time for the keys to victory. That's brought to you by Keppel Auction Company. Darren, what do the Cats have to do tonight to get a win in the district? I uh, talked to uh, Coach Trey Tinsley earlier in the day, which, by the way, when you, I hope you can see the jacket that he's wearing tonight at some point during the broadcast. It's solid red. 
solid red jacket. As opposed to orange. Exactly. So looking sharp tonight, Evanston County uh, coaching staff in uh, shirts and ties tonight. Uh, but uh, talk to Coach Tinsley, and uh, they want to take care of the basketball. Don't turn over the ball. They want to win the rebounding battle by five or more. They got to get some second chance points. They're going to try to crash the offensive boards. They're on the defensive side of the things. They're going to try to get out to their shooters quickly. And they're going to try to slow the game down just a little bit. Uh, they don't want to play, you know, if the game's getting up into the 70s, uh, you know, Coach Tinsley's maybe uh, going to raise an eyebrow at that. He's hoping to keep the game down in the 50s. If we can do that, then he's pretty, uh, pretty certain that uh, his guys can pull off a W. And uh, I agree with him. Let's hope they do. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Josh Roney State Farm Insurance for Grayson County. They'll be starting at guard, a 5'11 freshman, number two, Spencer Langdon. At guard, a six-foot sophomore, number four, Gage Napier. At guard, a 5'9 junior, number five, Landon Haycraft. At four, a 6'1 sophomore, number 23, Brody Armstrong. And at guard, a 6'6 freshman, number 24, Jack Logston. And that rounds out Grayson County starters. We're going to hear who Edmondson County is starting tonight in just a few moments as we kick it down to Scott Lindsay, house PA man in Wildcat Alley. Jamie, I want to send a shout out right now to Miss Judy Grable. Miss Grable came up and she said, before the broadcast, before the girls' game, she said, you know, I heard you guys talking on the broadcast the other night about the banana chips that you guys were enjoying some banana chips. And so I thought it would be nice if I would bring you some as well. So she gave us a bag. And I said, well, thank you so much. And she talked about how she depends on the broadcast when she can't come to the games, like many of you uh, that's watching this game tonight. And so, hey, since we were talking about banana chips, she heard us talking about it. She brought us some food. So you, all you guys out there that are watching, <laughs> Jamie and I really love ribeye steaks. <laughs> we love pepperoni pizza. We love biscuit and gravy. We love um, even ice cream, country ham, <laughs> bacon. Speaking of which, I want to say, <laughs> stopped by the CB Food Store today, picked up a couple of things, helped out with a food drive that they had going on there for the senior food pantry. And I bought one of those rotisserie chickens that they have already cooked. Yeah. Took that home and ate that for lunch. Man, you talk about good. Yeah. That was that was great. So, you can eat that. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be for one sitting. You right, can keep eating right. that for a while. So anyway, we, we're, we're food lovers, so remember, folks, we'll never turn down food if That's you're right. Innocent. Thank you, Miss Grable. For yes, the, absolutely. We, we do appreciate, appreciate it. Seriously. We've been snacking on them throughout the broadcast. Cougars in their road orange uniforms with blue trim, blue numerals, white, uh, white borders on those. Cats are in their white uniforms, blue numerals and letters. Rick Trent. And now it's time to introduce the next fight for your Edmonton County Wildcats. At guard of 6'3 senior, number zero, Rick Alexander. At guard of 6'1 sophomore, number one, Tyler Wilson. At guard of 6'3 freshman, number three, Brayden Wright. And forward of 6'3", senior, number 23, Lane Ashley. And at center of 6'4", junior, number 24, Joshua Decker. Wildcats are coached by the city coaches, Jacob Rosado, Jackson Saucy, and Justin Scott. And by head coach for your Wildcats, Trey Tinsley. Tonight's tip off brought to you by Edmondson County PBA, Kyle White. Both teams getting set here to go. And Decker is set to jump it up against Logston, it looks like. And here we go. Grayson County ends up with the basketball. Napier will bring it across the timeline. Off to Haycraft. Napier gets it back. Now around to Langdon. Napier, Haycraft, left wing, in the middle to Logson. He puts it on the floor, guarded by Decker. Looking, now over to Napier, puts it on the floor, ball comes loose, and it's a scrum. 
And Wright ended up with a basketball for Edmondson County, but it's a tie that? ball, yeah. I think. That's a good call. You got everybody on top. Oops. Joshua Decker will take it out for the Cats. No, he won't. Make that Will Alexander. Decker. Alexander. Now to Wright. Wright down the floor. Here comes the ball now pressure. They've got their hands all over us. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to make it physical real quickly. And that's going to go against Logston. We'll take a couple more of those if we can get them. Logston is a 6'6 freshman. Alexander for three, left side. And in and out. Rebound. Run down by Wilson. Great play by Wilson. Alexander will inbound for the Cats. Gets it into Decker. Up right above the left elbow in the middle to Wilson. Tries to kick it out to right, but uh, stolen by Grayson County. Lawson brings it down the floor. Up near the center circle. Now off to Langdon. Up high. Over to Nap Napier. Now down low to, to go. Lambert, who's in the game now. Down the floor to right as the Cats get it back. Right off to Ashley. Ashley looking. Back out to Wilson. Up high to Alexander. Wilson now right side. Right. Straight away. Decker right gets it back. Looks. Ashley. Corner to Alexander. Left side. Down low to Ashley. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Decker. No good. Lawson or Grayson County the basketball. They drive. Langan takes it to the hole. They're going to say no basket. There's a foul. Foul's on the right, it looks like. Each team with one foul apiece so far. Shots up and rattles off the rim. Lane will have one more here. Shots up. That one's no good either. Decker with the rebound, and we have another whistle. It's going to be a foul against Grayson County. So official talking uh, to Coach Tinsley about something. I didn't catch what that was about, but uh, Decker pulls the rebound. <laughs> Alexander into Decker. Right with it, drives in the middle of the lane, puts it up, can't get it to connect with the left hand. Ashley with the rebound, puts it up, and in off the glass. Tough rebound by Ashley and the bucket. Langdon off to Logson. Shading the left side. Now Langdon off to Lambert now, back out to Napier. Cross to to uh, Haycraft, now missed shot, and right with the rebound. Passes over to Alexander, he'll bring it for the Cats. Crosses the timeline, right, left wing, now back out to Wilson straight away. Right again, tries to get it in the middle to Decker, can't, ball knocked loose. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be surprised if he stays in the game. Okay, they're going to leave him in the game. I'm a little bit surprised. First free throw is good by Grayson County. Two to one. And Brayton Wright is coming out of the game. Gravel checks in. Two to one, Cats in front right now. Haycraft at the line. He'll have another one here. It's good. Tie ball game at two. Wilson with the basketball. Drives. Gets in the middle and puts it up and in. Boy, driving straight to the lane. Good job by Tyler Wilson. Another couple of points. Langdon cross court to Haycraft. Now back around to Logston. Logston on the left wing. Spins. Gets it across to Langdon. Langdon gets it up and gets it to rattle in in the lane. The jump shot. 
Alexander splits the defense. Wilson with it, right down numbers. the middle of the lane, goes up with it, dumps it off, tries to dump it off to Grable, but it's picked off by Grayson. Probably should have given it up a little quicker than that. Now, Langdon for three, right corner, no good. Rebound, Napier, and he falls out of bounds before he's able to get rid of the basketball. Colin Doyle checks in for Wilson as he has a seat. Alexander into Ashley. Doyle gets it now down the floor to Decker. Decker puts it on the floor, comes loose. Grayson County has it. Got to take better care of the basketball, man. Already four turnovers. Logs and drives. Partially deflected, I think, there. Decker with the rebound off to Alexander. Grable down low, puts it up and in. Grable with his first bucket. Cats lead at 6-4. Four. four minutes, 10 seconds remaining in this Benson County Chamber of Commerce first quarter. Logston now over to Hens Henshaw, who's in the games. Haycraft for three left side, no good. Rebound tap, goal by Ashley. Alexander gets it, he'll walk it across the timeline. Off to Decker, right side, Alexander gets it back. Jumper, just inside the three-point line, he puts it in. First bucket for Will, 8-4 Cats. Langdon, off to Logson. Now Haycraft on the, on the left corner. Langdon back around to Lambert. In the middle to Henshaw. Logston now with it. Step back three, right side, no good. Rebound caught by Decker. Down the floor to Alexander. He's on the right side, deep three on the way. It's good. Got team! Will Alexander cats up 11 to four. Langdon off to Haycraft, now over to Logston. Langdon again, and to Lambert goes up down low, no good, rebound by Decker. One hand shovel pass out to Alexander. Brings it across the timeline, Decker straight away, puts it on the floor, jumper goes up, but he's fouled, they say. Joshua Decker at the line for two shots. Evanston County leading early here, 11 to four. Cougars have missed their last four shots. Shot by Decker's up and in. That's an SCRTC free throw. He'll have one more of those. 12 to four, Edmondson County in front right now. Like what I see so far. Yes, sir. First quarter action, again, brought to you by Edmondson County's Chamber of Commerce and the A-plus Family Healthcare first half. Second free throw is no good. As Hanshaw pulls the rebound for the Cougars. Off to Langdon, right side, down low to Robinson, who's in the game, but it's picked off. Cats have it. Alexander now walks it across midcourt. Right side to Grable. Doyle, three on the way. It's good. Got seed! And a 30-second timeout by Grayson County. Wildcats jumping on them early here. 15 to four. And uh, how about that? That's what we like to see, Darren. I love it. Well, so many years, so many years I've watched Grayson County just hammer us over and over again. And finally, these last few years, it looks like we've turned the corner just a little bit and we're able to give some of that back. And right now, the Cats are looking pretty good. Yeah, looking really good. Of course, you got the adrenaline pumped up. This is the first district game of the season. You're at home, you got a full pep section. You got the band playing, you got a pretty much a full house here tonight. I mean, it's about 75% of the way full here at ECHS. And well, you like to see that. You like to see community support and uh, lots of people watching us on TV tonight. We appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. Lots of folks here tonight as well. My buddy Donnie Vincent waved at me from the stands over. He used to fix a mean uh, ro uh, sandwich over at the softball field for years while our kids were playing softball. Grayson County with the basketball. And uh, looks like Hanshaw drives with it, but uh, they'll say he's fouled. And he's rooting on the Cats as well, as we all used to do back in the day. You know, Jamie, speaking of back in the day, you used to have hair a lot like Hanshaw here going <laughs> to the line. <laughs> I probably could have at one time. But I uh, wouldn't be able to cultivate it quite like that, young man, because Daddy would have killed me. 
Well, he hits the first free throw, 15 to five. Second one is no good. Decker with a rebound. Off to Alexander. Six rebounds by Decker already in the first quarter. Off to Doyle now, high on the left wing. Grable puts it on the floor, gets it inside. Great Pump move. Oh, Ball's deflected. Decker runs down the rebound. Doyle for three. It's no good. Rebound tap. Grable got his hand on it. I didn't see. I think they're going to call it out on. Going to call it out on Grayson County. 15-5. Cats in front. Alexander looks to inbound. And Doyle's going to have to run it down. Well, Langdon beats him to the punch there, and he gets underneath. Oh, they barely him. Foul. Not very little contact at all there. But five turnovers in his first quarter by Evanson County. Yep. <clears throat> it's got to be a little bit stronger with the ball there. We've got Langdon here at the line. He'll be shooting an and one. 15-7. Cat's in front right now. Here comes the free throw. And no good. It tries to crawl up on the back or the top of the backboard. Alexander chases it down for Edmondson County. Alexander still with it straight away. Off to Ashley. Now over to Decker. He'll try three right side. It's good. Yapsi! Joshua Decker. Four points for Joshua, it's 18-7, Cats. Logson, left side. Now down low to Robinson, he puts it up and in. Defensive breakdown there by the Cats. Decker, stolen by Langdon, gives it to Martin, who's in the game now. Comes off, Decker ends up with the ball, now Alexander has it. Down low to Ashley, down low to Decker, he puts it up, no good. Decker gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Joshua Decker hanging in there, tough. Great effort. Langdon in a hurry. Robinson now out to Logston straight away. And underneath the Langdon, Langdon just That is the second. Hanging around down there underneath the basket, puts it right in. Second consecutive wide open bucket for Grayson County. We just lose track of Langdon down there and uh, he eases underneath the bucket. Joshua Decker has nine rebounds in the first quarter, Jamie. Well, I'd say you'll have a few more before we're done. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Cats holding for the last shot. 20 to 11. Alexander with it, bounces it down to Decker. He puts it on the floor and tries to get it to Grable, cutting to the basket on the opposite side. Throws it out of bounds, just uh, can't connect. Doyle comes in for Alexander, 11 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 20 to 11, Cats in front. Logston with it. And he puts it on the floor. Jumper from the right side, rattles out. Decker with the rebound. That'll do it for the first quarter though. And uh, 20 to 11, Cats in front. And uh, you're listening to, we'll be right back with more Wildcat action. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. New things are happening with the Edmondson County Chamber of Commerce. With new leadership and new vision, your chamber is working hard to strengthen the business community in Edmondson County. Whether it's bringing you the annual Big Brownsville Bash, joining you for a ribbon cutting, or answering a simple question, our resources are here for you. To find out how your business can join for as little as $75 a year, call 270-597-4715 or visit edmondsonchamber.com. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats are up over Grayson County right now after one quarter in the books. 20 to 11. And second quarter action brought to you by Grable Funeral Home and the A-plus family healthcare first half. Edmondson County shooting 54% from the field in that first quarter. They held Grayson County only 30% from the field. Joshua Decker has 10 rebounds in the first quarter. I don't know that I've ever seen it. I don't think we've ever had a kid had double figures in rebounds in the first quarter, after the first quarter. Well, we'll take more of them. I 100% agree. He's doing some work down there. He's cleaning the glass. 
Grayson That's County basketball to get things started here in the second quarter. Robinson gets it in to Martin, who's in the game for the Cougars now. Martin with the basketball left side over to Haycraft. Robinson back out to Haycraft, right wing. Straight away to Bratcher. Three on the way from Martin. Rebound, Gravel. Out to Ashley. Here come the Cats. Doyle gets it. He'll bring it across midcourt. Now out to Wilson, up high on the right side. Doyle straight away in the middle. Oh. Uh, and goes through Alexander's hands. Grayson County ends up with it. And just, just on the opposite end, Bratcher loses it out of bounds for Grayson County. So Thank it'll you, be sir. May Cats I basketball. A... Tom Vincent says he doesn't know what the single single game rebound record is. You know, Decker's on a pretty good roll right here. I don't even know what that would be either for the Cats. They don't have a record book for them. Alexander over to Ashley. Alexander gets it back right side. Wilson around to Gravel. He puts it on the floor. Ball loose on the floor now. And we've got a tie ball. You know, used to, Jamie, when you had more than one guy, the same jersey on a ball, they call that a travel. Yeah. They don't hardly call that anymore. No, not when it's uh, there's a dog pile on the floor there. Ball skips out. Uh, uh, one of the Grayson County players gets his hand on it, gets to Decker. By the time it's to Decker, its course has been altered, and it goes out of bounds off his hand. Unfortunate turn of events there for Edmondson County. 20-11, Cats in front right now. 6.55 to go in this first half. Haycraft over to Bratcher, back to Haycraft. Over around to Napier, Haycraft in the middle to Logson. He spins, goes up with a shot, falls in. Friendly little bounce there for Logston. 20-13, Evanson County. Ashley drives from the left side. Pull-up jumper just outside the blocks. No good. Logston, or Ashley gets his own rebound, but they'll say he's called for a foul, I think. Right. Napier with the basketball, crosses over the timeline, now over to Bratcher. Around the perimeter, Napier, Haycraft back to Napier. Napier down to Lawson, baseline jumper, it goes from the left side. Brandon Prunty listening in as the Wildcats get the ball back. Glad to have you along, Brandon. Lashley down on the left baseline, throws it out, tries to get it to Decker, Decker recovers it. Wilson right side, cross court to Alexander, three on the way, left court, left wing, no good, rebound Decker, he puts it up, can't connect, Ashley Wilson the opposite work. side, and it's 22 to 15 cats. Brandon has suggested Oscar Decker or Joshua Chibwe. <laughs> I'll go with Joshua Chibwe. Yes. Three pointer for Grayson County. <laughs> Twenty two seventeen. Cats lead it. Timeout Wildcats there at that made three pointer by Grayson County. Got a thirty second timeout here. Five thirty one remaining in this first half of action. Twenty two to eighteen. Cats. Well, this is everything that we thought it would be, Jamie. Isn't it always? Physical, up and down the court, even though Trey Tinsley wanted to slow this game down a little bit, kind of hoping to maybe keep this game in the fifties. Uh, they're a little bit faster paced than that tonight, but so far, so good. Edmondson County shooting 54% from the field in the first quarter, holding Grayson County to 30%. But Grayson County has hit their last three shots, including a three-pointer, to draw this lead back down to only four for Edmondson County. <coughs> Cats and Cougars back on the floor now. Alexander getting set to inbound. Off to Ashley, down the floor to Wilson. Wilson in a hurry to the Take left to side. The and there's a whistle before the shot goes up. We got a foul on a Cougar. No shot, so they'll take it out of bounds. Each team with one foul apiece. Remember those team fouls. Once they, once they get five, it's a double bonus. Ashley for three, left corner. It's no good. Rebound by Grayson County. That comes off to Lambert. 
And Langdon for three, he hits it. Jason County right back in it, one point game. 22-21, Ashley with it on the left side. And pass batted down by Napier. And come back to Edmondson County. Wilson out to Gravel right side. Alexander straight away. Holds on to it, corner to Wilson. Wilson, left side three, it's good. Yahtzee! Tyler Wilson. Cats back on top by four. Logston puts it on the floor, right baseline, goes up, lays it in off the baseline there and for two. Now five buckets in a row made by Grayson County. Ashley to Decker, right side, thinks about the three, doesn't take it, gives it to Alexander. He dribbles into the lane. Goes up, That'll work. puts it in. Will Alexander, seven points for Will. Cats back on top again by four. And Langdon. And what a new world. Goes up with a three, and uh, Decker manages to foul him. Boy. Wasn't much contact there. I don't even know about that, man. He's after the shot. You don't get away with that, though. If, if that even looks like a foul, especially when the offensive player flops on the floor. First one's good. Yeah, it's out there at the perimeter where everybody's looking at it and uh, there's no way to hide. Yeah. <clears throat> Any kind of contact will get you a whistle. Second, second foul, good. sorry, Jimmy, second foul on Joshua Decker. 27-25, Cats in front. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the Grable Field home second quarter. And A plus family health care first half. Third shot's no good. And it comes off to Ashley Wright back in the game for the Cats. He'll get it over to Wilson. In the middle to Ashley. Double team out to Wright. He'll shoot a three. It's good. Yahtzee for Braden Wright. His first bucket of the game. Langdon around to Bratcher. Now down low to Lambert. And the ball goes out of bounds. I think it's blocked uh, there. And they're going to call a technical on Braden. He had a little jawing going on after the block. Okay. Got to keep your emotions in check. I think we've ever had another whistle. Yes. Another technical on Will Alexander. Two technical fouls against the Wildcats. What in the world? I'll tell you what, man, these guys better get it together. That's tough, man. <clears throat> First shot by Logson is in. We'll have another one right here. That's also three fouls on Braden Wright. He'll get a couple more for the second technical, I guess, and they'll get possession. Makes it 30-28. Kind of negates that three-pointer he made a minute ago. Yep. Shots are good. Thirty to twenty-nine. Cats in front by one. We got a full timeout in the Wildcats, so we'll take a break too. And uh, you're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Gravel Funeral Home has been a friend to our community for over fifty years, offering the care and services that families need. They're a full-service funeral home that offers cremation and pre-need counseling. Call 270-597-2149, visit their Facebook page for more, and stop by their facility at 537 North Main Street in Brownsville. Gravel Funeral Home, dedicated to those we serve. Glad to have you along with us here in Wildcat Alley on Wildcats Live. Cats lead this one by one over Grayson County, 30 to 29. Three minutes, 54 seconds left in this Gravel Funeral Home second quarter. And A-plus family health care first half. Cats back on the floor here. And Grayson County coming back out now. This here could be a big swing in momentum here. Yeah, Grayson County possession after two technicals on Edmondson County. One on Alexander, one on Wright. And Wright's third foul there. And that, they, like Grayson County just loses it out of bounds. That'll Skips work. off Logston's hands.
Alexander gets it into Wilson. Wilson, and Cats in front. Lambert walked with it, no call, and no call, and somehow ends up getting it to Lambert, who puts it in for two. 32-31, Cats still in front, 3.20 to go in this first half of action. Down low to Ashley, he puts it up and in for a layup. Good court vision there by Tyler Wilson. Nice job by Ashley on the execution. Langdon, jumper won't go, rebound by Alexander. He keeps it, crosses the timeline, down the middle of the lane. He's pushed, pushed by Bratcher, and no call. Goes out of bounds. Yikes. Cats up by three, three minutes to go here in the half. 34-31. Langdon with the basketball for Grayson County. Straight away over to Logson, left side. Langdon gets it back. Now around to Napier, three on the way, right side. No good, rebound by Ashley. Out to Alexander, here come the Cats. Alexander brings it across the timeline against Napier. Now Wilson on the right wing. Back out to Alexander, three on the way, straight away. It's no good, rebound by Grayson County. Off to Napier, right side. Logson straight away three. It's good. Grayson County's only missed two shots from the field in this quarter. Wilson with it. Off to Alexander, right side. Napier guarding him. 34 all. Gravel on the right corner. Wilson, three on the way, right wing. It's good. Yahtzee! Big three-pointer by Tyler Wilson. He's got 10 points. 37-34. Cats in front, 146 remaining in the first half. Lawson on the left side. He goes baseline. Fall away jumper. Won't go. It rattles in, and they call a foul on Alexander. Yikes. It's going to be two fouls on Will. Makes it, pulls Grayson within one, 37-36. Minute 39 left in the half. Cougars are shooting eight from 10. From the field here in this quarter. Free throw's good. Wilson will inbound. Tie ball game at 37 apiece. Doyle with it, gets between the defenders. Off to Ashley, back out to Alexander. And down low to Ashley, he puts it up, no good. Gotta Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. There you go. 39-37 now, Cats. Langdon out to Hen Henshaw. Now Robinson for three, Alexander no good. shoved on the rebound. Wilson with the basketball. Down the floor to Doyle. Quick three, left side, it's no good. Comes off the Haycraft for Grayson County. He brings it, Logston. Spins around on the shot, they call a foul on Doyle. 56.5 seconds left in the half. Edmondson County still lead by two. Lawson at the line after the official, one of the officials from Robinson finished exchanging addresses for Christmas cards. Oh, I think they're still at it though. Wait a minute. Now he wants one from Henshaw. This will be the 17th free throw attempt for Grayson County. Edmondson County has only attempted two. Made the second one there, 39 all just in case you were keeping score at home. I can't imagine that being the case here. Strange, isn't it? Never had that happen before. Alexander with a basketball into Doyle. Doyle puts it on the floor. Wilson now. And crosses the timeline, gets into the lane. Played step back jumper, hits it. Tyler Wilson with another big play. Takes it all the way to the other end and puts a jumper in. Langdon 
Out to Robinson, Langley gets it back. Robinson left wing. Around to Haycraft, back to Langley. <clears throat> They're gonna work it around the perimeter here, try to get the last shot. Get it down low to Lambert, he puts it up, no good. Rebound corralled by, Gra by Grable. And we got a foul on the Cougar. 14 seconds. 41-39. Cats in front. Alexander will inbound. Wilson tries to get his hands on it. They're going to say it was last touched by Grayson County, I believe. Thirteen point four on the clock. Alexander, baseball pass down to Ashley. He can't catch up with it, or right under the goal he does. Backs up, puts it up, no good. And Gravel tries to tries the shot. There's a jump ball call. It's another uh, Grayson County Cougar gets his hands on it as he goes up with it. Possession area is with Grayson. Got nine seconds to do something with it here. Langman brings it down the floor. Off to Henshaw, shoots, no good. Rebound, well, it really doesn't come off to anyone. Alexander got his hands on it, but couldn't grab it, and the buzzer sounded. Cats go to the locker room, 41 to 39. They lead it over Grayson County. And they want to stick around for the halftime show. We've got that coming up shortly. We'll have some stats and some second half adjustments. That's all to come here. Keep it right here on Wildcats Live at EdmontonVoice.com. It's time for the Precision Strip Halftime Show on your home for Edmondson County High School Sports, Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Take control of your career at Precision Strip. Precision Strip in Bowling Green has many opportunities and is looking for team-oriented individuals who place high value on quality, service, and safety. With Precision Strip, you'll enjoy great pay and benefits that include a generous 401k and a workplace that values you. A high school diploma or GED is required. Learn more and apply online at precision-strip.com. That's precision-strip.com. For over 60 years, Gravel Funeral Home has been a friend to our community, offering the services and care that you need. They're a full service funeral home, offering cremation and pre-need counseling. Call 270-597-2149, visit their Facebook page for more. Stop by their facility at 537 North Main Street in Brownsville. Gravel Funeral Home, dedicated to those we serve. If you already have internet through SCRTC, there's a pretty good SCRTC got it. Up to 5 gig of it. Make the switch right now at SCR 5 gig of it. Make the switch right now at SCRTC.com and we'll do the install free. This won't last forever. With unmatched customer support, SCRTC, your best and last internet provider. Time for the Precision Strip Halftime Show on your home for Edmondson County High School Sports, Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Take control of your career at Precision Strip. Precision Strip in Bowling Green has many opportunities and is looking for team-oriented individuals who place high value on quality, service, and safety. With Precision Strip, you'll enjoy great pay and benefits that include a generous 401k and a workplace that values you. A high school diploma or GED is required. Learn more and apply online at precision-strip.com. That's precision-strip.com. It's not something we like to talk about. It makes lots of folks uncomfortable. But the truth is, it's part of life. Folks have many needs when they lose a loved one, and one of those is a friend. Roy Gravel and the staff at Gravel Funeral Home have been friends of this community for a long time. Let Gravel Funeral Home be a friend to you with pre-need counseling or other services. No, no one likes to talk about it, but at Gravel Funeral Home, you can talk it over with a friend. 
Wildcats Live on the Edmondson Voice is presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and drive Through, located in the Main Street Center in Brownsville. Alfred's Pharmacy provides super fast service, whether it's in the drive through inside their retail location, curbside service, or even free delivery. Call 270-597-1044 to find out how they can save you time and money. Save time, save money. It's that simple at Alfred's Pharmacy. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. A-Plus Kid Care brings hometown health care to our students here in Edmondson County. Edmondson County students are now able to receive individualized face-to-face -face care with our providers through new telehealth technology. Every student has access to many services, including strep, flu, and COVID testing. Parents, we encourage you to be part of your child's visit, and you're welcome to attend in person or remotely by video chat. A-Plus Family Health Care, care is what we Scott's Gags Photography is your locally owned and operated full service photography studio. Whether it's weddings, babies, families, senior pics, or sports, Scott's Gags Photo can handle it all. They also give back to our local schools, sports team, and community. Did you know they can also restore old photos? They can have your old and vintage pictures looking new again. Visit scottsgagsphoto.com or call 270-792-2598 today. New things are happening with the Edmondson County Chamber of Commerce. With new leadership and new vision, your chamber is working hard to strengthen the business community in Edmondson County. Whether it's bringing you the annual Big Brownsville Bash, joining you for a ribbon cutting, or answering a simple question, our resources are here for you. To find out how your business can join for as little as $75 a year, call 270-597-4715 or visit edmondsonchamber.com. Take control of your career at Precision Strip. Precision Strip in Bowling Green has many opportunities and is looking for team-oriented individuals who place high value on quality, surface, and safety. With Precision Strip, you'll enjoy great pay and benefits that include a generous 401k and a workplace that values you. A high school diploma or GED is required. Learn more and apply online at precision-strip.com. That's precision-strip.com. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats lead this one 41 to 39 at the half against Grayson County. Tonight's halftime show is brought to you by Precision Strip, providing careers for our area. We look back at halftime stats and a recap of things. Here's Double D. Thank you, Jamie. Tyler Wilson leads the Wildcats in scoring with 12 points. He's got a couple of rebounds. Uh, we've got uh, Lane Ashley with eight points and six rebounds. Will Alexander with seven points and two rebounds. Joshua Decker, six points and 11 rebounds at the half. And we got Braden Wright with three points and a rebound. Colin Doyle with three points. And Wyatt Gravel has two points and three rebounds. Edmondson County shooting 57% from the field in this first half, 17 of 30 shooting. Grayson County. Not too bad themselves, 48% from the field on 11 of 23 shooting on the rebounding. Edmondson County is crushing Grayson County in that category. 25 team rebounds uh, to Grayson County's only seven. And as we talked about, Joshua Decker having 11 rebounds. We had 10 in the first quarter alone and uh, pulled another one down in that second quarter. Uh, free throws, Jamie, I know you're gonna be shocked at this. Grayson County has attempted 17 free throws. They've made 15 of those. Edmondson County, however, they've only attempted two. I just can't. It's odd, isn't it? That is really odd. They made one of those. Uh, so, uh, Edmondson County jumped out to a great uh, lead there in the first quarter. They led 20 to 11, but Grayson County made six baskets in a row, missed one, and then made a couple more. And uh, hot shooting for Grayson County in that second quarter. Uh, they were eight out of 13 in the second quarter. And uh, 
Score has been tied multiple times, but Grayson County has not led yet in this game. Even though they outscored Evanston County 28 to 21 in that second quarter, they trail the Wildcats 41-39 at the half. And our student athlete of the week, that's brought to you by County Clerk Kevin Alexander, as always. Congratulations to Lane Ashley, senior basketball and baseball player. He is the son of Brandon Ashley and Jenny Ashley. He has a current GPA of 3.75. Congratulations, Lane. You are the Wildcats Live Student Athlete of the Week. We'll be right back with more of the Precision Strip Halftime Show in just a moment. In the meantime, you're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. When it comes to auctions and realty, you can't beat the team of Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable from Keller Williams. With over 20 years of combined experience, they have you covered in all things real estate. Whether you're buying or selling homes, farms, commercial property, or if you need auction services, Alan and Shauna can both handle your needs for the price of one. Call 270-791-2288 or 270-246-1329. Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable, two great realtors that make one great team. Wildcats Live on the Edmondson Voice is presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and drive Through, located in the Main Street Center in Brownsville. Alfred's Pharmacy provides super fast service, whether it's in the drive through inside their retail location, curbside service, or even free delivery. Call 270-597-1044 to find out how they can save you time and money. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alfred's Pharmacy. Welcome back to the Precision Strip Halftime Show. Well, Cats lead this one 41 to 39 over Grayson County at the half. Tonight's second half adjustments are brought to you by CNC Firearms in Brownsville. What do the Cats need to do second half, Darren, to pull this thing out and get a W? Well, they got to handle the ball a little bit better, Jamie. Turnovers a little bit high at the half. Nine turnovers for uh, the Wildcats compared to only five turnovers for Grayson County. They're going to have to handle the pressure little bit more they got to execute a little bit more but uh, again when you're talking about having a lead here at halftime against a uh, district foe big rivalry uh, in this kind of atmosphere can't gripe about it too much no. uh, I'd say pretty, pretty much you're going to stick with this game plan um, Trey Tinsley was hoping to keep this game down into the 50s I don't think we're going to see that uh, so Wildcats not having any trouble getting up and down the court Coach Tinsley may have felt like uh, that if Grayson County controlled a faster paced game, the Wildcats would struggle, but, uh, and they have at times. The big thing is keep your emotions in check. Already a couple of technical fouls on the Cats. You've got to do better than that. Uh, you've got to know where you are, and uh, Braden Wright, that technical foul also gave him another personal foul, so he's got three fouls. So let's see what they can do here in this third quarter. Things back underway, Cats with the basketball. Alexander out to Ashley now, over right in the corner. Wilson, baseline jumper from the right side, won't go. Rebound, controlled by Grayson County. Logs him with it, he'll bring it himself. Haycraft straight away. Now off the corner to Langdon, he drives baseline. He'll kick it back out to Napier. Haycraft straight away. Now Langdon will try three right side, no good. Rebound, Alexander. Alexander brings it across half court. Out to Wilson, back to Alexander. Looking, left wing, straight away to Wilson. Decker, three on the way right side. It's no good, rebound, Grayson County. <clears throat> Down the floor to Haycraft. He tries a three, left corner, no good, rebound. Decker, off to Alexander, here come the Cats. Down the floor to right, gets up. Puts it up and in, off the left side on layup. Through the contact, nice job by Braden Wright. 43-39, Cats, Langdon now, right baseline, looking, gets it out to Longston. Longston almost lost it out of bounds there. He'll back it up, down in the middle to lost it. Lambert, loses the basketball, Alexander with it now for the Cats. In the middle to Decker, he can't control it, gets one hand on it. Lambert comes up with it, goes down the middle. Shoots it against right. They tap it back up and in. Make it 43-41. Cat's still in control. Right down the floor to Decker. Wilson gets it across the timeline. He'll circle back out. Right now, left wing, puts it on the floor. Floater won't go, rebound. Well, it goes off to right, down low to Decker. He can't control the ball, and it will go out of bounds. It's 
think it stays, it stays with Anderson County. Alexander looks to inbound. Up high to Wilson. Now Ashley, left corner, back out to Wilson. Left wing. He'll bring it up in the center circle. Now Decker on the right side. Alexander back up top. Right to Decker, right wing. He'll back it up. Wilson again near the center circle. Alexander getting the play from the bench. Wilson puts it on the floor. Jumper won't go off the glass, but Lambert's able to grab the rebound bound for Grayson County. Brings it across the timeline straight away. Off to Logston. Logston to Lambert in the corner to Napier. Napier on the left side. Shovel pass to Lambert. Shoots the shot, no good. Rebound by. Oh, it was a uh, jump ball. Lambert got the rebound. It's blocked by Ashley, I believe, there, but they call it hell ball. Looks like Grayson can't even get the basketball. Grable's going to check it. Wilson. Wilson to right, left wing. And it's tipped by Napier. He'll drive. Goes up with it. Can't connect. Decker gets the rebound. He'll put it on the floor himself. Down the floor to Alexander. Cougar got his shot altered at the other end there. Just, and we, it looks like the Cougars got their hands on him. It's going to come back to Edmondson County. <laughs> Travis Johnston wanted, he wanted a goaltend down there because Decker slapped the backboard. That's not enough to make the shot miss. Decker inbounds to right. We're back underway. Alexander now up high on the left side. In the corner to Doyle, around to Alexander. Alexander out to right, three on the way, right side, no good. And it goes out of bounds on Grayson County. Doyle in, gets ready to inbound, it looks like Hanshaw is going to come back in for Haycraft for the Cougars. 43-41, Cats in front. 4 6 up to play. Decker with a jumper that won't go. Rebound Logston to Grayson County. Hanshaw on the left side. Up high. He'll give it to Napier straight away. Now out to Lambert. He'll try a three left wing. No good. Rebound, and Hanshaw gets it for Grayson. He goes baseline, and not sure what that was, but they're going to give him an and one on a made bucket. He fell backwards shooting that shot. It's going to be on Joshua Decker, and that's going to be his third. He, had, he really had nowhere to go, and he kind of stumbled around inside, threw up a prayer there, and went in. And tied the game. Free throw goes up, and it's off the mark. Rebound by Decker. He'll get it out to Alexander. Tie ball game, 43 apiece, 3.36 remaining. And this offense pharmacy and drive through third quarter. 14 rebounds for Joshua Decker. In the middle to Decker, a free throw line down low to, Grace, uh, to Grable. He puts it up and in. Four points now for Grable, and the Cats lead by two. 45-43. Now Hanshaw in the middle, gets it off to Lambert. He puts it up and in. Tie ball game again. Alexander with it. Over across to right. Alexander right side. Looking, gets it to Decker, he puts it up and in. Eight Lambert. points for Decker. Right side, lost for three on the left wing. No good, rebound by right. Right will keep it. Down the floor to Alexander. Alexander just crossed over the timeline, picks up the dribble. Wright gets it on the left side. Alexander straight away. Doyle, right side. Pass to Graver. Right baseline, Alexander for three, straight away. It's no good. Rebound by Decker. Decker in the lane, jumper, won't go. 
Rebound, tapped out. Lambert's gonna run it down for Grayson County. Knocked loose by Wright, but Grayson County ends up with it. Doyle follows Lambert, or, or uh, I think it's Lambert underneath the basket there, but they're gonna call a foul on Doyle. Wilson and Ashley back into the game now. Decker and Doyle's gonna have a seat. Decker now with 15 rebounds on the night. Grayson with the basketball. They get it in to Longston. He rattles it in. 47 all. Two minutes, eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Wilson brings it across midcourt. Down the corner to Ashley, right side. And I think we've got a timeout. 30 seconds timeout. Yeah, 30-second timeout for Cats. Tie ball game at 47 apiece. Minute 56 remaining in this offense pharmacy drive through third quarter. Reckon it's going to be this way the rest of the night, <laughs> Aaron. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if my blood pressure can take it. Back and forth, back and forth. Certainly hasn't been any kind of a comfort zone at all for either team. Not at all. Cats led by as much as 10. 11, I'm sorry. Early. Score's been tied multiple times throughout the night. But Grayson County has not led yet. And let's hope that continues. Yes. Edmondson County with the basketball. Ashley to Alexander. Wilson straight away. Tinsley's calling him off there. He's backing him up near the timeline. Now to Alexander. Jumper from the left side. No good. Rebound comes off to Grayson County. Now Hanshaw with it. Picks it out to... Bratcher, Hanshaw back with it. Now down low to Lambert. Wide open bucket. In. Grayson County with their first lead of the ball game, 49-47. Alexander into Wilson to right. Right down the floor to Ashley. Ashley drives, and we've got a charge. Yep. That's a good call. He was set up for days. Got to recognize what's going on with that. Colin Dole checks in for Wilson. Turnover for the Cats. That's not what you want right there. <clears throat> and it assesses another foul to the Cats to Ashley, his second. Team's third of the quarter. Hanshaw with it, left wing. Straight away. Off to Logston. Now on the right side. Hanshaw straight away. He drives, kicks it over to, well, the Shot comes from Bratcher, but they run it down after the miss. Hanshaw puts it on the floor. Out to Langdon. Three on the way, it's good. And now a five point lead by Grayson County. 30 seconds, and we got a foul right here, I believe. Yeah. First foul on Grayson County this quarter. Will be on Langdon. Grayson County really doing a good job of hitting the boards here in this third quarter. Alexander. Guarded by Martin. He backs up near the timeline. Alexander. Now drives toward the lane, kicks it, tries to get it to Gravel. And it goes out of bounds. Worked that for the last shot. Oh, that's a tough break right there, man. 4.4 mm. left on the clock. They got to do something. Langdon launches an air ball. And that'll end the quarter. Cats trail the Cougars, 52 to 47. Here at the end of three. We'll be right back with quarter number four. You're listening to Wildcats Live on Alford's Farm. Or, or, or Wildcat, or Edmondson Voice got time. I'll get it out in a minute. 
Be right back. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. You hear Alabama in the background. That means it's the fourth quarter here in Wildcat Alley. 52 to 47, Cougars lead this thing right now. So we'll see how the fourth quarter works out for the Cats. And we're taking a look at the pep section now. That's what I'm talking about right there. And here we go with the fourth quarter. Let's hope they can get a little mojo back right here. Need it badly. Alexander with the basketball. They trail Grayson County 52 to 47. <clears throat> Decker with it up top over to Ashley. Now Alexander. Now over to Gravely, kicks it back out to right. Left wing, Alexander straight away. Alexander with it again. Alexander backs up near the scores table. Across to right. Now in the corner to Decker. Hits it on the floor, Alexander straight away three. It's good, Yatsi! Oh my goodness gracious. A technical foul. Another one on Will? They've called another technical foul on Will Alexander. Just because they're talking to each other, man, it's called basketball. Now, unless you're giving somebody a dog cussing. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. That is absolutely ridiculous. And now they've given a technical to the Edmondson County bench. So two technicals, two more technical fouls. This is ridiculous, man. What in the world is going on here? Well, we had a bit of momentum going there. Now we've got the ball back in the Cougars' hands. They're going to be shooting, what's this, four foul shots yep. now? And the ball. And they get the ball back, just like the situation earlier. This is a killer, man. I mean, four. And does that te disqualify Will? Two technicals? That's a good question. You know, I'm not sure what the high school rule is on that. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, he's out. That's it. He is disqualified. Wow. <clears throat> well, here we are. So a technical foul on Alexander after he hits a three-pointer. Apparently, I don't know, ref heard something he didn't like, apparently. Well, they were motioning at the sideline down there uh, as if he was throwing up the three like he'd been doing all night. Well, so I, does know. every other kid that's ever played <clears throat> basketball. Right. I, you know, man, I swear. 56-50 now as Logston makes the foul shots down at the other end. Eight points from Grayson County tonight, strictly on technical foul free throws. You take those away. Yeah, it's a different ball game right now. And we we lost Alexander. You know, yep, we, that's we right. We don't have him anymore. So 
Anyway. Henshaw off to Martin. Back to Henshaw, free throw line. Kicks it out to Langdon. Shoots, Decker with the rebound. Gets it to Wilson. Wilson will bring it across the timeline. 56-50, Grayson County in front right now. 6.44 left in the ball game. Across to right, up high on the left side, looking. Now Decker, left side goes baseline, jumper on the way, it rattles out, and it's gonna stay with Edmondson County, looks like, as it goes out of bounds. Hey, Kraft checks in for Grayson County. Gray will inbound to Wilson. He tries a three left corner, no good. Rebound, tapped, controlled by, well, Grayson County ends up with it. Down the floor to Langman. He puts it up off the glass and in. 58 50, 618 remaining in the ball game. Cougars in front. We have a timeout, looks like. Full timeout for Evanston County. <clears throat> so, we'll take another break. Cats trail eight by eight points here in Wildcat Alley to Grayson County. 6.14 left to play. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmontonVoice.com. Cats trail by eight here in Wildcat Alley. 58 to 50, six minutes, 14 seconds remain. They trail after a series of unfortunate events that uh, started with Will Alexander's three and then resulted in a technical on both Alexander and Coach Tinsley in that little span of, a short span of time. Cats with a basketball, Grable. Has a shot deflected in the lane, kicks it out to right. He'll try three left side, it's no good. Rebound chased down by Grayson County. Hanshaw brings it across the timeline. Off to Lo Logson, he'll try a three, it's good. Double digit lead now for Grayson County. Decker in the middle of the lane. And Grable loses the ball, puts it up. Ball tapped loose, Grayson County with it. Down the floor to Langman. He shoots, no good. Or it is good, brother, I should say. 63 to 50. And they keep extending the lead. Ashley brings it. No shot, they say. Ashley's called. He got a shot up and it went in, but it, they say he was fouled before the shot. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, it's just a momentum killer when you get uh, the officials involved and uh, involved that deeply. Well, you know. And I don't know what was said, but uh, I don't know. That sad turn of events, right? Over to Gravel, ball comes loose. Haycraft drives, puts it up in it, and uh, there's a goal to him there on Longston, I believe. Sixty-three fifty, catch trail. Picked up. Picked off again by Grayson County. At the inbound, Langdon shoots, drops in, and he scores. This is just not going well at all. 65-50 now. The hole keeps getting deeper. Just a short while ago, Darren, this was a manageable ball game. Oh, absolutely. Langdon will get a shot here at the foul line. It's up and in. Make it 66-50. 5.06 remaining. Some time left, but uh, Cats have dug themselves a hole. Edison County still only attempted two free throws on the night. 
Ashley tried one down low and it uh, missed it. Attempts to get his own rebound. It goes out of bounds. Doyle into the game now. He'll inbound the ball for the Cats. Get it high to two Decker. Off to goal, right on the left wing. He tries a three. No good. Grayson County with the rebound. Cats are just all out of sorts now. Henshaw, Longston ends up with it. Turn around jumper won't go. Ashley claims the rebound. Doyle brings it. Kicks it over to Wilson down the floor to right. Right drives and he is fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Remember, Braden Wright also had a three uh, technical foul in the first quarter. Right in the line here for SCRTC. You know, there's a couple of magic words that they won't let you say, of course, but I mean, man, talking to your guy there, that's part of basketball. Yeah. Peyton Talley checks in with us. He, uh, his question is, uh, with Will being ejected, is there a suspension for upcoming games? Now, I don't know that. Right with a second free throw, it's good. 66-51. Uh, there, there may be something to that. Well, and my knowledge is that. Blocked by Ashley. And uh, Longston ends up with it at the other end, and there's a foul down low. To my knowledge, if you are disqualified or ejected from a game, you do have a one-game suspension. Actually, maybe, I think at one point it was two games. It may be. I'm not sure. Don't know the rule on that one. Longston at the line. Puts it up and in. Grayson County just in cruise control right now. Longston, second shot, it rolls in. 68-51. And there's a full timeout by Grayson County. So with that, I guess we'll also take a break. Cats trail this one, 68-51. Four minutes, 18 seconds remain in this ball game. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmontsonVoice.com. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmontsonVoice.com. Glad you're here with us tonight. Maybe you can help bring the Cats a little luck in the last four minutes, 18 seconds of this ball game. They need it. They're down 68 to 51 to the Cougars here in Wildcat Alley. And a uh, large part of the game, it's not been like this. But uh, unfortunate series of events there in the late, uh, was it third quarter, I guess it was? Early fourth quarter led to early fourth, yeah. A lot of foul shots from Grayson because of some technicals assessed to Edmondson County. Decker with it right side. Ashley straight away. Gets into the basket. Shoots no good, but they'll say he is fouled. He'll go wide. Now what the Wildcats need to do right here is run their offense. You know, make sure nobody's trying to do too much. You know, with four minutes left, down 17 points. I mean, and that's even, <laughs> that is crazy to even say because, you know, after that three-pointer by Will Alexander, that cut Grayson County's lead to two. And then, boy, the well just dried up for Edmondson County. SCRTC free throw attempt by Lane Ashley. He got them both. 68-53, Cats trail. Grayson County with the basketball. Logson down the Haycraft. Handshot with it in the lane. Jumper on the way. No good. Rebound. And Wilson got his hands on it. It's knocked out of bounds, they say, by a Cougar. It's just a real head scratcher. You know how all that shook out. It, you know, eight points in Grayson County free throws via technical. 
yes. tonight. Right off to Ashley, left side. Right down low, spins around, goes up, and he's fouled. And a 13 to three run for Grayson County. Braden Wright will go to the line for two shots. He's got six points on the night, three rebounds. And this will be his third SCRTC free throw attempt on the evening. Shots up, shots in. 68-54. Grayson County leads it. Shots up, and that one falls also. 68-55. Cats trail Grayson County. Cats applying some defense here, pressure. Hanshaw with it, drives, puts it up, and he is fouled at the other end. We're not going to make a trip to the Grayson County end, I don't think, without getting a foul called on a Wildcat. That's five fouls on the Cats, so everything's a shot from here on out. Oh, good. <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Let's it? see if we can drag it out a little longer. 69-55 as he Anshaw makes the first one. Spoke a little too soon about being happy to being able to lead the Cougars every once in a while here. <laughs> Second shot's good also. 70 to 55, Cougars in front. Wilson off to Ashley, right side, back out to Wilson. <clears throat> right in the middle to Gravel. Gravel looking out to Wilson, three on the way. No good. Rebound by Grayson County, down the floor to Haycraft. That ball's gonna outrun him. He's gonna try to throw it back in bounds, but it goes out of bounds, and now it looks like Wilson's got an ankle that's hurting him. Uh-oh, oh, well, he's holding his leg. Let's just hope it's a cramp, man. I tell you, anytime a kid grabs his leg like that, yeah, let's hope that's what it is. Looks like they're trying to work his foot a little bit. Seventy to fifty-five, Cats trail Grayson County here in Wildcat Alley. Pep section is full. That makes you makes you happy. But, uh, it does, unfortunately. Not a lot to cheer about right yeah, now. Yeah, they're they're pretty quiet right now, as you might imagine. Being down 15 to three minutes to go, and in just a few short minutes, <laughs> Grayson County has turned this thing completely around. It didn't take long at all. No, that's what you call pulling a big bow duke right in the middle of the road. Yeah, J turn. Yeah. So Wilson is hobbling off the court. He is in pain. Coach Larry Starnes over there checking him out. According to uh, KHSAA rulebook, what I'm seeing here, as we our crack research team has uh, looked this up. It says, following the day of ejection, there shall be a minimum of two additional games, meets, contest suspension for any participant ejected from a contest with the exception of football due to the comparative shortness of the football season. So it does look like a two-game suspension if that KHSAA rule is correct. And I'm reading it right from the rule page, so I yep. think it is. Decker, straight away, drives into the lane, puts up the shot, no good, gets his own rebound, tries to throw it up as he's falling to the ground. Ball comes loose, the Cougars end up with it. It goes out of bounds, and I think it comes back to the Cougars there. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's going to. I've never seen the energy 
zap out of a building so fast in my oh, life. Well, it's, just, it's easy when you have that kind of a swing like that. It's just crazy how that happens. Lawson for three on the left side, no good. Hanshaw runs it down. Well, he just bulled his way into Gravel there, lowered his shoulder first, then ran into him, and then shot. Gravel down on the other end, puts it up and in. You know, basically just kind of let them do what they want now. In the corner to Haygraft. Hanshaw down to what in the world? Napier, he got his shot blocked, I believe. Decker puts it up from the free throw line. It rolls in. 70 to 59, a minute 54 left in the ball game. Cats trail Grayson County. Logston to Hanshaw. Haycraft off to Napier. Napier puts it up and in. Decker off to right. Doyle. Ashley to Decker again, right side, puts it on the floor, spins into the lane, puts it up. Shot won't fall, but I believe we've got a foul call. And that whole series of events is even more, is even more you know, sad because you got an ejection and then you got disqualification for later matches. So yeah, it's just a, and that, that series of events was just really, really bad for the Cats. Got a little moisture on the uh, court underneath the Wildcat basket. You know, there used to be a really nice sweat mop that was used around here. I saw that once or twice. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know where it went. It probably is in the same place where all the energy in this building went. <laughs> probably so. Shot, first shot uh, by Decker is no good. He'll have another SCRTC free throw coming up next. <laughs> DeWeese checks in for the Wildcats as Ashley takes a seat. Second shot, he can't, get, he can't hit it either. And Luis knocks the ball loose from Logston. And Logston will get it out of bounds. A minute 22 left to play in the ball game. Langdon brings it down the floor. Cross court to Logston. He puts it on the floor, circles back out. Just a little keep away now, trying yep. to run some clock. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Right. Manages to foul Hanshaw there, oh, kind of <clears throat> overplayed him a little bit and ran into him as he ran to catch up with him. Two be, shots on every foul from here on out. Be Wright's fourth foul. Shot by Hanshaw is no good. That's the first one I've seen him miss in a little while, seems like. Shots up and in by Hanshaw there. Sanders is going to come in now for the Cats. Grable will have a seat. Right with it. Down the floor to Doyle. Tries a quick three. No good. He'll chase his own down his own rebound. But it's knocked out of bounds by Lawson and it'll come back to Edmonton County, looks like. Ball comes in from Doyle to Decker. Out to right. Wright gets into the lane. Goes up with it. Puts it up and in off the line. 73-61. 49 seconds. Off to Langdon. Langdon crosses the timeline. Deweese tries to back tip him there, but gets into him a little too hard. It's going to be a foul. Langdon at the line. Shots up and, and off the mark. Shot.
Shot again, that one goes in. 74-61, Grayson County in front. Right with the basketball. Off to, well, knocked down by Grayson County. Right gets it back. Sanders for three, left side, no good. Rebound, pulled by Grayson. Doyle knocks it out of his hands. That's uh, Lambert, but they call a foul on Doyle. That's his fifth. Crazy. Well, we've certainly had plenty of fouls this game, Darren. Yeah. Of all varieties. That's a fact, Jack. Don't hear that phrase very much. That's a fact, Jack. Famously used in the movie Stripes by Bill Murray. Lambert at the line at the Grayson County end now. They lead 74-61, 29.6 seconds left on the clock. Shots up and it rattles out. Second one rattles out as well. Decker with the rebound. He'll bring it. Three on the way, straight away. It's good. Yahtzee. Ten-point deficit for the Cats now. Grayson County down on the right wing. Now over left wing three on the way. It's good. Seventy-seven, sixty-four. And Hodges launches a three from the right side, but no good. That'll end the game. 77 to 64. Cats lose this one in Wildcat Alley. Stick around. We'll have more to come on the postgame show. We'll have uh, we'll talk to Coach Tinsley and have the stats. Stay right here with us. On Wildcats Live at EdmontonBoys.com. Butcher, fresh fruits and vegetables, a fantastic deli with grab and go meals and homemade desserts, and if we don't have what you need, just let us know and we'll do our best to get it. We're also happy to carry your groceries out for you. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 597 2035 and like us on Facebook. CB Food Store, proud to be your locally owned hometown grocery store. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Alford's Pharmacy brings you the latest technology with decades of experience right here in Edmondson County. Locally owned and operated, Alford's provides fast, friendly service with the care that you deserve. Whether you need personalized help, a vaccine, or just a simple refill, call 270-597-1044 or visit AlfordsRx.com for more. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alford's Pharmacy. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats drop this one in Wildcat Alley, 77 to 64. And uh, as a result of a, just a, a crazy turn of events, uh, several technicals called during the game. I mean, you expect this type of atmosphere when you come into the Grayson-Edmondson County games. But, man, uh, 
those, uh, those technical fouls mostly went the way of Grayson County. And uh, they gained all the momentum from that, and we just couldn't do much beyond, uh, beyond that as they pulled away from us. So, anyway, this is the CB Food Store postgame show. And hopefully in a moment we'll hear from Coach Tinsley. But uh, in the meantime, while we wait for him, we'll talk a little bit about the postgame stats. And those are brought to you by Jones and Grable Tax Service. And if uh, Double D's got the work done on that side of things, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, bit. man, I'm burning my pencil up right here, uh, writing, trying to figure up. I'm looking at these stats, man, and you talk about some weird-looking stuff. The Wildcats have five guys in double figures tonight. Yes, five guys in double figures and still figured out a way to lose this game. Pretty uh, pretty crazy. I mean, you know, we, we say this a lot, Jamie. You know, we say we've seen a lot of crazy stuff in basketball. Tonight is one of those crazy things. Four technical fouls on the Wildcats tonight. Could possibly, I mean, as far as we understand the rule book, a two-game suspension, right? You know, from from what we understand, um, but uh, yeah, five guys in double figures. They still lost. Will Alexander. Well, uh, excuse me. Let me let me get back to the leading score for the Wildcats. Crazy performance from Joshua Decker. 13 points and 19 rebounds for Decker tonight. Tyler Wilson finishes with 12 points, all in the first half. Braden Wright, 10 points, three rebounds. Lane Ashley, 10 points, eight rebounds. Will Alexander, who was disqualified with two technical fouls tonight, 10 points, three rebounds. Wyatt Grable, six points, four rebounds. Colin Doyle finishes the scoring for Edmondson County with three points. And Edmondson County, Edmondson County shot, let's see, uh, 23, uh, 46 from the field, I believe, if I've got those numbers correct. Um, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second right now. We got Coach Tinsley joining us. That's right. Coach's comments uh, coming up now. So that's sponsored by Sailors Golf Carts and Smith's Grove. Coach, that was a... That was a wild game, and of course, it, it, it was a really close contest there through most of the night. But then there was an unfortunate series of events of well, several technicals during the game, and things just got way out of hand real quickly. And uh, you know, tough one, tough one here for your first district game. But the atmosphere you expected, I guess. Yes. Now, for me, uh, I, I'm I'm in, I apologize to Adams County fans as far as you know we can't get teed up. Man, we had four technicals, and one I was, you know taking up for a player there and you know we, we're going to handle ourselves in class and we just got to play our game and tonight we you know we're getting that we got we cut to two points we'll hit a big three and you know him getting this second technical you know wills wills a heck of a player he knows he's got to be smarter than that being a senior and you know you know I, one thing i'm going to take up for boys 10 point you know it's 10 point game and they shoot a, a three with five seconds left you know that's you know, we're, I tell our boys we're going to handle ourselves in class, and uh, we we got to do better than that and be uh, tougher. And uh, and that's 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 my fault as far as we, we got to get them there. We're a young team, but we still can handle ourselves with class, and even if the other team's not. And, Coach, you know, I'm not trying to put you on the spot any, by any means, but, it you know, it just seems like that. Sometimes the referees want to take a little bit of, uh, you know, just what is normal jawing. I mean, you right. know, back when I played, when you played, you know, everybody jawed a little bit. As long as you're just not giving somebody some crazy dog cussing. I mean, you know, uh, and certainly we didn't hear what was said on the court, but uh, it just it seemed like, boy, there, there just wasn't much patience tonight. For yeah, that. and the thing was, you know, in a big robbery game, you got to keep your poise. We broke that on the board with our kids and, you know, them being their first time in it, they got a good taste of what the rivalry is, is about. And um, next time we play them, or just any district team, you got to have composure. And uh, that's something we will improve on. And there's definitely going to be a tough practice Monday because, you know, we got we got to handle ourselves in a better way. I, I'm not caring much about the other team as uh, us right now. 
and we got to be we got to be better than that. Understand, Coach. A uh, couple of stats that really stick out tonight. Evanston County went to the line ten times tonight. Grayson County went to the line thirty-two times mm -hmm. yep. tonight. Um, they knocked them down too. They shot eighty-one percent from the free throw line. Uh, Coach, you had ten, you had five guys in double figures. Josh Decker, 13 points and 19 rebounds, what we've got him down for. Wow. And uh, I don't know that I've seen very many, if any, Wildcat teams have that much scoring and that much sharing and still come out with, a, with an L. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, you give up 77 points, and we told our guys, you know, our big thing is 55 and under. We gave up too many points, and they got, you know, they got it up and down. They played their, their style ball. They want to score in the seven years and eighty, so we gotta, you know, we play them or Butler. Butler's the same way, so we got we gotta keep the score down and handle the rock and not get so sped up. So, coach, I want to ask you this: with Will having two technicals and being disqualified, does that mean is that a two-game suspension for Will? How does that work? Do you I'll, know, I'll look it up and we'll have to talk to Coach Pierce about that. But you know, I talked to him when we went in there and. I'm not going to go into detail what we talked sure. about, but it's he's got to be smarter than that. And um, I love Will to death, and he's a great kid. He's one of our best players, if not the best player on our team. But, you know, he, he knows better than that. And um, he's a good kid. He's made a just a tough decision there. And I'll be honest with you, it is back and forth. But, you know, the second guy always gets caught. So you gotta, yeah. he's got to be smarter going forward. Well, Coach, there's not a whole lot more to say about this game. Just didn't turn out like you wanted to. As we said, crazy stuff. I know you guys are going to bounce back from this, have a tough practice tomorrow, and uh, we're going to catch up with you on down the road. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Coach yeah. Trey Tinsley here on the CB Food Store postgame show. And uh, once again, we appreciate all those guys, our coaches, for stopping by and uh, giving us their time during the postgame show. Well, and um – you did. Did you get done with your stats there, Dan? The only thing I didn't that I didn't uh, mention here, Jamie, is the shooting for the game. Uh, Evanston County was 25 of 58, shooting for 43 percent. Grayson County was 23 for 46. They shot 50 percent for the game. And uh, you know, man, as you said, those four technical fouls. That's eight points uh, that Grayson County was able to put up on the board. And, uh, you know, at one time, Evanston County was up 56-50. And, uh, you know. And don't forget the possessions after those. That exactly. goes back to Grayson that's County. So if any points came off those possessions. Right, right. Then you got that. That's a, turn, that's a big turnaround. It's a huge turnaround. And, uh, you know, um, obviously, I mean, we can sit and talk about it all night. Not going to do any good. So uh, tough night for the Cats. And let's just hope they can bounce back. And we believe they will. Tonight's player of the game is brought to you by Walden's Barbecue. That's located at the crossroads of Highway 259 and 31W. How about player of the game, Darren? Well, at some point, we might get someone else to get player of the game, but not so far. Uh, it's going to be another one for Joshua Decker. He led the catch tonight in scoring with 13 points, and he pulled down 19 rebounds. And uh, we joked during the broadcast, uh, we may start talk, calling him Joshua Sheepway. So... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it didn't turn out uh, the results didn't wouldn't, wouldn't want Joshua and the rest of the Cats wanted, but a uh, heck of a performance uh, for him tonight. Congratulations, Joshua. You're the Walden's Barbecue Player of the Game. And that's going to do it for Wildcats Live here tonight, too. It's a good, good night for the Lady Cats. They pulled one out against Grayson, but uh, not so much for the boys as they lose 64-77. to Now, be sure and join us next Tuesday. That's December 12th. You believe it's the middle of December. I know, man. That's crazy. Lady Cats take on Adair County here at home. And then the Wildcats, after that, take on the Bluegrass Blazers Homeschool in Wildcat Alley. Now, tip off for the girls is scheduled for 6 p.m. with a boys game to follow. So, uh, please mark that on your calendars, set your clocks, synchronize your timepieces, whatever you <laughs> need to do there to catch up with us during this fabulous Christmas season. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great uh, set of holidays. Yes, sir. Um, anyway, we got a lot of basketball to cover before then. So, good night, Wildcat fans. For Double D, I'm Jamie Carnes, and this has been another Edmondson Voice production of Wildcat Slide presented by Alford's Pharmacy, only on the Edmondson Voice.
You're listening to Wildcats Live on Edmondson County's number one source for local news and information, edmondsonvoice.com. 